Hey everybody, welcome back to another Affinity for iPad tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do this gradient overlay effect. Uh, it's pretty simple and it's quick and the end results you can see right in front of you. And uh, let's just get right into this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is import your picture. I've brought this picture in. And what we want to do is make this black and white. So let's go ahead and right off at the top, you got your black and white um, filter here. And what we want to do is we have all the colors on the bottom. We want to just quickly kind of like get it dark. Like we want a good black and white. So we don't want to go too harsh, but as you can see, you know, there's a lot of red in the face. So as I pump the red up and down, uh, you know, it makes it whiter or blacker. So uh, we kind of want a good contrast with this picture because of the colors. The more, the darker the area, the more the colors are going to show up in this specific tutorial. Uh, so let's kind of just do that. That's good enough. I like that. Um, now we go back to the layers and, uh, you know, we have the black and white here. We can turn on and off. We'll keep that there. We don't necessarily 100% need this in black and white, but it definitely works uh, a little bit better in black and white, I think. So I'm going to make a uh, new layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a box and I'm going to go ahead and put the box over it. And I am going to go down and make this a screen. Okay. So what that's going to do is uh, when I put a gradient over top of it by selecting the gradient tool and we're on that layer we just made. Now, when I go to the colors, I could tap the edges and I could put colors in. And because it's set to screen mode, um, it's going to knock out uh, the blacks and whites and it's going to overlay them with whatever the color is. So basically what I want to kind of do is start from a blue and go up to like a uh, so start with like the cool colors and kind of go to the warm colors. So I'm actually going to make this top like a yellow. Slide that down. Now we got red. Um, and then I kind of want like a purple in the middle. And as you can see, that's kind of, that's pretty much the majority of how you get that look going. Now I'm going to go in and show you how to kind of refine this a little bit. Um, the biggest thing we can do is some of this is a little light and a little dark. Like these eyes, I definitely want to make darker and really pop them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another new layer here. Um, I'm going to go to the bucket tool for the fill tool. Uh, actually, we are going to need to go through and scroll through to the grayscale. And we are going to want 50%. And if you can't quite get it at 50, just give this a tap and you can click 50. And now that we're on the fill tool, we are going to tap the layer. And what we did was we made a gray layer here. Now we are going to go into our layer options and I want this to be soft light. Now, if you've done this correctly, uh, when you toggle this layer on and off, you're not going to notice any difference. And, you know, that's that's what we want. And that's how you know you did it right. So basically, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to dodge and burn. But instead of dodging and burning on the picture itself, or because that wouldn't matter because we need to go higher, that's why we did the uh, this layer here. And I'll show you in a sec uh, what's what's going on with it. But I just want to want to burn the eyes here. And as you can see, as I'm drawing on this, it's definitely bringing out the darkness on them, making those eyes a lot darker. And let's get the lips a little bit darker here too. And uh, maybe kind of go a little smaller and kind of do some of this, this hair as well. Kind of maybe drop the opacity down and kind of get some of this hair, uh, darkened as well. So as we turn this layer on and off, you can see now we're going in and refining it a little bit and we're making uh, artistic choices of what we want uh, to pop in and pop out. Uh, also, same thing, we can go to the dodge layer 
and uh, do that with the white. So maybe this cheek and kind of up here, I don't want as uh, white. And then make sure here in the uh, bottom right hand corner, you have we're on midtones. Uh, for the whites, if we go to highlights, we're going to get a much more drastic, uh, you know, and turn the opacity down because I want to just kind of keep it nice. Maybe a little on the nose, a little on the chin. And then now let's turn that on and off. And as you can see, we're really kind of going in harsh and uh, cutting out the stuff we do and don't like. So that's totally, now we're at the artistic part. Whatever your picture is, uh, is going to be up to your discretion. So I just want to show you what that layer is doing. I'm going to turn off all the other layers. All that layer is doing is just adding black and white onto it. Uh, to dodge and burn it. So at any point, if you really get into this and uh, you messed a part up, you can just go back in with gray, 50% uh, gray, and it's basically going to erase that. So let's turn our layers back on again. And uh, I'm going to show you one more thing. Uh, you might want to cut out uh, like this shoulder. I kind of wanted to cut that out. And uh, so I'm going to create a new mask. I'm going to click on the mask. What I'm going to do when I'm on the brush tool is uh, if I have black, it's going to erase. And the reason why it's not erasing, that's why I wanted to show you how to do the mask here, is what's going on is it's, um, let's crank the opacity up here. What's going on is it's uh, erasing it to the background, uh, to transparency. And the background... It, it, it thinks it's it's going to default to black. So we got to make a new pixel layer and drag it under. And then we're going to make a new rectangle here. And we are going to color this white. And then now when we go back and turn our layers on, now we can mask how, you know, you're, you're used to masking. So let's go ahead, click on that. And uh, we're going to kind of go in. Let me drop the opacity now. And I kind of want just this back. I kind of want to make it like a, it's a little sharper like that. And now at any time I can go back in, go back on the pixel layer. Uh, one more thing I want to do is just kind of get the, uh, I want to burn this hair right here. And uh, let's, if we go to the shadows now, we can really get in there. Let me get the opacity up. Now we can really make that that hair sharp and kind of get into there. So that's it. You know, uh, you can kind of keep going in and refining this, but that's the basic way to get these cool little uh, gradient uh, portraits kind of going. And, uh, you know, you don't, if you want this look, yeah, it should be something kind of studio shot with a white background, but it doesn't have to. Let me uh, show you just a couple other ones real quick with uh, full color backgrounds. Okay, so here's a quick pick uh, that I took from uh, Electric Forest. This was one of the Yellow Society guys. They, you know, they're part of the environment. But anyway, um, so I went in and again, I made the black and white layer. And then this time I did like a radial uh, gradient to it. But as you can see, also uh, two things. One, instead of masking, if white is your last color, it's going to basically mask it white anyway and uh oops you can kind of go in and uh it still works if it's not a full color background and i'll show you one more and th this is the last one uh you know this photo was a full color photo and we did the gradient to it and uh you know it, it, each photo it's going to have a, a different look to it but uh, I just want to do a quick tip and uh, give me a follow if you like these and I'm going to be doing more and I hope you guys learned a little bit today.